Hi friends, Jessica Lowell here with 514 Photography. I am a luxury wedding and portrait photographer in North Georgia. Today, in 10 minutes or less, I hope, I am gonna cover everything I carry in my wedding detail bag. Um, this bag itself is an older bag I have. It's very on brand. It's from Initials Inc. It's extremely durable, but I cannot promise you they still sell this bag. I've had it for good um, five years or so. However, any bag, I also, if I need more items than this, I will literally throw everything in one of those 99 cent Marshalls bags that you can buy by the register because nobody ever really sees this bag. And it spends most of the day in the car. I only bring it out for details. And then as soon as I'm done with details, so it doesn't get left behind, I go ahead and put it back in the car. But I'm gonna go through the contents of this and I hope it helps you today. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my base. Um, I have lots of tubes of these. I have like five or six. And these are from Ink and Elm. And what I use is their food photography backdrops, basically, they're vinyl. Instead of using fabric, um, which can be very expensive if you buy some of the ones that are just geared towards wedding photographers, and they're literally, literally like a piece of linen. They have to be dry cleaned, they can be up to 100 bucks. These are 20 to $30, depending what you get, and look very real. So you want a three foot by two foot. Uh, if you search on Etsy, you just search vinyl food backdrop. Um, I have the marble one because I do shoot a lot of luxury weddings. I have shiplap, I have granite countertop, um, concrete. I have all sorts of looks in these backdrops from Ink and Elm. So you definitely want to check that out and with the right planning, you'll know which one you're going to need. So I always pack for my wedding the day and night before my wedding. I make sure everything is, all my cameras are time synced, all my batteries are charged, all my cards are formatted. And I already know based on the venue, which one of these backdrops I'm going to need. So I only have to bring that one, even though I would say, <sighs> I would say I have 10 to 15 different uh, backdrop options that I use. I use those, um, again, super easy. Then you just wipe them off to clean and very affordable. The next thing, a white hanger. Um, I keep a white hanger. I do coach all my brides on a few things. One, making sure they have a hanger, um, making sure they have a, a ring box that matches their colors and making sure that they have two inch chiffon ribbon that also matches their color theme. Even though I also pack all that stuff with me, um, it just helps the details go faster. It also helps them to match. But if I show up in the, in the wedding dresses just on that plastic hanger with the, the cardboard, so just like, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is not a pointing tool, right? Um, if I show up during the getting ready hours and the wedding dress is just on that plastic hanger with the cardboard and all the stuffing, I will just use mine if they didn't have one of their own. I do not do that for all of the bridesmaid dresses because I don't think it's worth my time to rehang 10 plus dresses on wooden hangers just to get a picture that will get overlooked. It will um, never get put in the album, it never gets printed. I just, it's, there's better use of my time taking more important pictures than that. But I will hang the wedding dress up on this. The hair clip is for us short haired girls because you're usually bending over taking detail photos and I can just clip my hair up. So that's just a personal little thing. Uh, a tray. I don't always use trays and again I'll bring a tray based on what the look of the day is going to be. I bought this one at an outlet. I want to say it was Restoration Hardware because this one is real silver. I don't remember but I actually paid $39 for this one. It still has a ticket on it um, but this one was like 20 and I got it on Amazon except it showed up looking like this. Right? <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so I took some white chalk paint and then you can see kind of on the edges, I just barely took some sandpaper and kind of antiqued it myself. This is much more photogenic than this is, but you can take something cheap and make it look beautiful because you're also shooting with a low depth of field. So this is all just going to blur out in the background and be beautiful. I will link everything that um, I have links for in the notes below so you don't have to go searching. Um, I don't get any kickbacks or anything. I just want to help you guys out. Uh, 
A styling cloth, you're really looking for like a chiffon styling cloth. Again, Etsy is the best place for this. Um, I had one that got ruined, so I ordered another one. And this one that I ordered is kind of like a cheesecloth. And it's not my, not my favorite. It doesn't, you can see the weird texture in the photograph. So don't get the cheesecloth-y looking one. Get one that's chiffon, which photographs beautifully. Um, I have this box I got on Amazon. And then these are all chiffon ribbons, two inch. You want at least two inch, it looks really beautiful. In all sorts of different colors, I carry basically the most popular colors for bridesmaids dresses. But again, I do encourage my brides to buy their own because only they know a perfect match. But if they don't have their own, I have something usually close, similar, or um, in some cases identical. Uh, it just depends how important detail photos are to your bride. Uh, I have a lot of brides and they love my detail photos. So when I show up on a wedding day, they usually already have me the ring box. They already have me um, a, back, a pack of their ribbon. Um, and it just makes the details look so much more beautiful. But that all comes with educating your bride. So that's an email I send out. I tell them why it's important and I go ahead and make it easy for them and provide them Amazon links. Um, I'm gonna go through, this is a Sterilite box. I'm pretty sure I got this one at the Dollar General. Uh, but you can see it has long compartments and some shorter compartments. And these are like knickknacks that I may use or things to add texture um, to the flat lays. Actually, this is not for flat lays at all. A five pound command hook. If you're in a bind and don't have a place to hang the dress or if the bride has kept the dress a secret and none of the bridesmaids have seen it, that means you need to photograph it in the room that it's in. And sometimes, <laughs> that's a very cramped room or there's no good place to hang it and you got to get creative you want at least five pounds um the stickers they're usually the large ones um i've just ripped off the extra stuff so it fit in here the um the paper that it comes on but these are the five pound hooks then you stick the command hook stick it on the wall be done with it i have several in here because i'm famous for leaving them behind and forgetting them on the wall um i only have one ring box it's a ice blue color because that's a very popular color. And even if, you know, the day is pink, it'll go with it. But again, I encourage my brides to purchase their own box. Then they have something to take it home with and it will match the colors of their day perfectly. Cause these can run you, I think this Amazon one is 20 to $30. And if you have to buy the whole set or if you buy like um, some higher name brand sets, they can run you a hundred dollars to have four, five, six, no, because if this one's 20 bucks to have five of these is a hundred dollars. I mean, is it worth it? Anyway, um, but I have seen one box be like $50 depending on what name brand and not necessarily worth it to me. Again, that's going to be what's important to you. Um, spools. I, um, I found keeping spools separate from the ribbon is just easier than having to wind the ribbon back up. Um, I usually like fold my ribbon in half and fold it in half again and then roll it and put it in there. But when it was still on spools, it took forever when I was done and I'm trying to maximize my time. So now I keep the spools separately. I lay the ribbon out. I kind of can um, just drape the edge of it on there or roll up just the last few inches. But then um, putting it all back into my detail kit is just um, much more time friendly. I shoot at a lot of vineyards. I am a preferred ben vendor in North Georgia at almost all of our vineyards. So I like to have corks from all of them. Yona Mountain, these are some of my favorite people ever. Not just the venue, the staff and everybody there is amazing. But this keeps you, if you're at a venue that you shoot at a lot and there's something that they have at that venue um, that's good for detail photos, just keep some or in this case, I can just keep some, but if it's something you can ask the venue, if you could have some of, um, it just saves you from going from having to find these. These save you from going from the bridal getting ready suite to the tasting room. I just already have them. And you can even like, if you shoot at vineyards, you can stand this up and then stand the rings up on top of these or lay them down and then use your, use your macro lens and it looks really cool. Scissors, these are like a coppery. I got these on Amazon and I literally just yesterday saw they're now making these in a silver. I was like, oh, I need to buy those. Um, but they look cute next to the chiffon ribbon. Um, these I bought on Amazon, but I really don't use them, but they're like cute little keys. 
these are little stands. I'm gonna have to find a link because I don't remember where I got these, but these are great for the vinyl. If you want like a solid fluid um, background, like let's say you're shooting the shoes and you've got them stood up, but there's you're in a cabin with a brown wall, the carpets might be orange, like you're fighting to try to make these detail photos look your style and look luxurious depending on what you've been given. So these little stands, you just thread that vinyl through or even paper and um, and it just kind of stands it up. So then I can put it up against the wall to give the back of the vinyl support. And it has this constant, like from the bottom up and there's no seam or anything. And it creates like, if you're using the marble, a beautiful marble backdrop. Um, that of course, you know, shallow depth of field, lots of bokeh. It's just gonna make it look really elevated. So these are cool to have. I haven't used them much, but um, they're great when you are in a bind. And some extra ribbon that just is stuck around. Oh, this is really handy. Um, dental wax. Dental wax, like for orthodontics, is really good if you have different size rings. Like if the man's ring is significantly larger than the woman's ring, it's hard to get them to stand and take photos. So you can use dental wax, which is clear, um, to kind of like fill in the gaps. You just want to use a minimal amount because they can show up in the photos if you don't shoot it just right. Okay, that was everything in this box. I showed you the ribbon that fits in here. Um, the only other thing that's in this bag at the moment is, if you know, you know, if you've already on my uh, insiders list or if you've followed me for any, any time period, you already know why I carry these 5,000K white light bulbs in my car or in my detail bag to every single wedding. If you don't know, if you are new here, you need to know because it's one of my favorite hacks um, for indoor photos and getting beautiful light. So you wanna sign up uh, to be on my insiders list. Actually, you can just grab my free posing guide. I will link that below. And then you will automatically get an email, I think the next day um, about those light bulbs or the day after. Um, but I share a lot of good information. I promise I won't flood your inbox um, with stuff. I myself like everything short and sweet. So that was my detail bag. The only other thing I might carry or need a bigger bag for, um, again, good pre-planning, good education, just knowing your venues or knowing where your brides are getting ready. If my bride is getting ready at like a Verbo or at their own home, but the flowers are being delivered to the venue, that means I will never get my own florals. They won't be there for the detail photos because I start the day off with the detail photos. And I know because we do a uh, pre-wedding day call two weeks before the wedding and it's just all in the planning, knowing what you're going to expect when you arrive. So I just have this little Rubbermaid box I might grab. And um, in it is good silk greenery and silk flowers. So don't get the cheap ones. Don't go to Walmart. You want to go to Hobby Lobby. And like these beautiful silk arrangements that you see, this gorgeous one my sister made. Um, don't don't cheap out on these get the good ones but if i show up to a day that is not going to have any flowers these really help i'll lay these down to get some um to get the base of the greenery and then let's say i've got this tray right here what i did with my flowers that i did pick was i cut them off and then i used a super glue I don't know if you can even see, but there's like a lot of super, or not super glue, hot glue in here. And then these little um, round wooden discs, I also got those in the craft section so that they would literally just stand up. Now, if real flowers would stand up that easy and not fall apart, it would be awesome. But so if I need florals or I need more texture, I'll just depending again on the day and how much, um, how many details I already have when I arrive. You can just lay those down. I can't tilt this over for you to see, but you definitely get the idea. So I have some like garden roses, the tea roses. Um, then I have like buds, little tea rose buds. Uh, ranunculus, these are very popular and they're very real looking. And then I don't know what kind of flower this is, but even if it looks kind of thick in person, if you are um, layering all of your details and you're shooting with that shallow depth of field, these should just be all buttery and creamy and um, soft in the background anyway. So those look really good. And all of that just kind of fits in this. And again, you can either leave it in your car all the time, or you can just grab it if you think you might need it the day before. So that is it. 
That is my detail bag in what I hope was 10 minutes or less. I hope you enjoyed. I will link everything below. I will also link my free posing guide. And if you have questions or comments, feel free to comment below. I will answer you back. Or if you've got something that you found you can't live without in your own detail bag, I'd love to know. My followers would love to know. Please comment below. We would all appreciate that. Thank you and have a blessed day.